speaking here in Williamsburg. I'm totally innocent. I've never done something wrong. So uh, I'm uh, feeling very quiet on this. But once again, uh, I'm not ready to start a, a dialogue via media with uh, the parliamentary group. The more I do not know what is in, uh, in, uh, in the paper. Could I just though ask you on the specific point, do you feel that given whatever guilt or innocence is involved, that this affair is going to rumble on? NATO is embarking on the most critical period perhaps of its history, and this is going to be hanging over you. Do you feel able um, to carry on your leadership role at such an important time with such a difficult personal issue? Yes, I do. Number, false numbers or specific national commitments. But I can assure you that we are planning for a NATO-led operation. I'm stressing this, a NATO-led operation with NATO command and NATO rules of engagement to guarantee success or planning foresees the rapid deployment of a NATO force built upon elements of the UN already in place. That force will be prepared to deal swiftly and effectively with any local incidents of non-compliance. But the force will not stay indefinitely. We will have an exit strategy that will allow our forces to depart within a year. Speaking here in Williamsburg, let me stress that the commitment of U.S. ground forces to this operation will be essential. As I said two days ago in Washington, there will be no peace in Bosnia if NATO and its leading member, the United States, are not prepared to do their part. We all agree that NATO's approach to enlargement should continue 